Hey guys, what's going on? Me asking back a brand new video, and today I'm doing my review of the Lego Star Wars magazine issue number 98. This is the second most recent Lego Star Wars magazine. The one after this is obviously the Stormtrooper magazine issue number 99. But anyway, I am going to do my review. It starts with build, then a little bit of an in depth review on the actual magazine. So if all you want to do is see the instructions or the build, then just watch right now for the build or a little bit further on for the instructions. So the build is an ATTE. Now it's a bit thick on the underbelly there. It's four plates there. I can understand why they had to do it for the legs. But the legs are a bit annoying to have to pose. But yeah, I like the four different pieces they used here and here that look very good to make the body. Now you got two cannons at the back that act as the turrets that you see on the actual bigger model apart from the bigger model they're stuck basically glued onto the back almost these are on top of the back but here you've got a tile you've got red and then this is a big turret move up and down you can also move side to side but yeah nothing too special then here you've got four in front of the glass canopy where they can see Proportions were a bit off, but it's a cheap little magazine build. You don't expect it to be proper one to one scale or whatever, do you? You expect it to be a bit off, but still look alright. The legs are in like meta pose, so yeah. The legs are an absolute nightmare, but it looks quite cool. Nice glass at the front. I quite like it. It's one of the better builds we've had in magazines here in Europe because these are Europe exclusive, can't get them in America. As you can see, it's pounds instead of um, dollars. And the only other way is euros and stuff like that. But yeah, so you've got cool, mighty ATT Lego toy. And you can see it's Lego Stars magazine, all up front. Got previews, posters, barcode, all that sort of stuff. Then if we skip to the back, you can actually see postcards. If you want to send some weird postcards to someone on holiday, you can do so. But yeah, I think postcard designs are actually quite cool. But if you flip to the first page, you've got advertising for Lego Dreams. If you want to, you can scan back QR code there. But yeah, so here we have Chewbacca. We've got comic the luck of lando apparently he's really lucky um vader's order you've got just puzzles coloring posters comic jedi archive or info answers all that sort of stuff postcards all words of things back but yeah got secret comic back and if we flip over the page we see Lando and Chewie are playing holo chess or Sabak even just on the holo chess table in the UCS Falcon and tell by the ceasing. Yeah. And Lando's winning because he cheats. Falcon's falling apart apparently. Has a car wash. Apparently the Empire's chasing him. Yeah, that's pretty much it for there. When there's coffee cups more comic. He's like escaping bounty hunters. But yeah, not much interesting going on. We got colouring. I got bored one day, coloured it, but like the pens I used were absolutely terrible. Then we got more puzzles. Got the UCS Razor Crest there. Got loads of scout troopers. Cool Moff Gideon down there. Got Dark Trooper going on. TIE Fighters. Got ACT. Been here the instructions if you want to quickly. Copy, you can pause, bam, bam, mm hmm If you just want to quickly pause, you can have a look at them. And last page. So now that we're done on the instructions, you can see that there's also online for some reason you need that. And you've got Phase 2 Captain Rex, very cool looking. You've got Troopers, 332nd Troopers, 
Original Captain Rex had a... No, he didn't. He didn't have a free 30 second helmet. Got old and new style Mandos up there. And he's got more with a surfboard. I don't know why. And got... This is just a small little extra comic. As far as I'm aware, Styles is the only one that do those extra comics. And got the Jedi Archives, as they call them. Galactic Republic, it's like, yeah, whatever. First use, features, modifications. Then you got the Ninjago ones, you get three a month. That's ridiculous. And then the next one, which is an Imperial Stormtrooper, which is a new style Stormtrooper, and it looks amazing, because I have this one. Which will be the next magazine I review. But after this, it won't be another magazine. It'll be um, Ahsoka Brickheads. That'll do. Ahsoka Brickheads will be the next one I review. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video. Or tomorrow with Ahsoka Brickheads. I right, peace.